This time, I'll introduce the Texas Rangers top prospect, Kumar Rocker. He is an Indian American. Rocker's mother is of Indian American descent, with her parents immigrating to the United States from India. His parents crossed paths in Washington, D.C., where his father was a player for the Redskins and his mother was a student at the University of Maryland. Given that his father, Tracy Rocker, played in the NFL for, for four seasons before switching to teaching, it is not surprising that he has the build of a college football lineman. While in high school, he did participate in football, but when he entered college, he stopped. Kumar Rocker, right-handed pitcher, was well known even before becoming a professional player. He was noticed as a talented player in high school and was chosen by the Colorado Rockets in the 38th round of the 2018 amateur draft. However, he could have been picked even earlier based on his skills, as he was part of the USA Junior National Team. But he had a solid commitment to adding Vanderbilt University. Once he joined Vanderbilt, he quickly became a star player. In his first year, he was named the most outstanding player in the college World Series and helped his team win the championship in 2019. He also received the Baseball America Freshman of the Year award and pitched an impressive no-hitter with 19 strikeouts against Duke University in the 2019 CWS Super Regionals. His second season in 2020 was cut short due to the coronavirus pandemic, but he performed excellently whenever he could pitch. In 2021, he was considered the best college player in the country. Although, his teammate Jack Rater gave him a tag competition. Once again, he led Vanderbilt to the finals of the College World Series, starting the crucial game against Mississippi State University. However, Will Bednar outperformed him in that game, and Vanderbilt became the runner's arm. Kumar Rooker was also a finalist for the Golden Spikes Award that season. Kumar was selected with a 10th slot in the 2021 amateur draft by the New York Mets. However, concerns were raised about his shoulder and elbow health as a result of physical examination, and the Mets were not prepared to offer him a contract worth at least 40% of his slot bonus value. So, they allowed him to walk away. Roka was the only player in the first round of the 2021 draft not to sign with the team. He had one year of eligibility remaining at Vanderbilt, but planned to play in the professional league outside organized baseball. As the spring of 2022 approached, he found himself without a playing opportunity, but still harboring hopes of being choosing as a top pick in the 2022 amateur draft. He became a major wild card in that draft because no one was sure which team would take a risk on him and unlock the potential that had been evident just a year earlier. In mid-May, he decided to join the Torricity Barricades now part of the Independent Frontier League. He aimed to make a few appearances before the draft and prove to teams that he still deserved a high selection. During his first game against the Torrebiel Eagles on June 4, he delivered an impressive performance. He consistently pitched in the 19th, reaching a maximum speed of 99 mile hour. In four innings, he struck out six batters. Overall, he made five stats, achieving a record of 1-2-0 with an ERA of 1.35. He recorded 32 strikeouts in 20 innings, allowing only 11 hits and 4 walks. His lone victory came in his final start against a struggling Empire State Grace, a team with a record of 2-2-39. It was a highly successful trial period for him. Oh.
ultimately, Roka exceeded expectations by being chosen as the third overall pick in the 2022 draft by the Texas Rangers. This was a much higher selection than anyone had anticipated. He became the fifth player to be selected in the top 10 in two separate drafts. It didn't take longer for Roka to reach an agreement with the Rangers, signing a contract worth $5.2 million in bonuses. Interestingly, this reunited him with Vanderbilt rival later, as they became the teammate again. When Roka pitched in the Arizona Fall League for a brief period, hitters were once again defeated by his wipeout mid 18th strider with power and depth. He had a fastball that sat in the mid 19th and had previously touched 99 mile war. But he found it challenging to deliver strikes with it or to miss bat when he did. In 2023, when he made his official pro debut, his hitter was more efficient and he did a better job finding it. In addition to his fastball and slider, Roka also owns a strong low 80s curveball and an average mid 80s changeup. Although he throws strikes, his command could be better. This season, Roka made a chic start and pitched 28 innings. He had 42 strikeouts, 7 walks, a 3.86 ERA, and a 1 whip. The 5 and runs he surrendered in the game's final innings. When the injury occurred, significantly increased his ERA stats. Roka anticipated receiving a promotion to AA. Unfortunately, according to some resources, Kumar Roka will have Tommy John surgery. Texas Rangers general manager Chris Young said, Roka is expected to be out until the second half of 2024. When he returns to the field, he will be 24 years old. He is a young player who possesses great potential. I hope he takes the time to address his right elbow issue adequately and doesn't rush his entry into the major leagues. Good luck, Kumar. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Baseball. See you next time.